Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out Great Notion Brewing Company's Passion Fruit Mochi. Two things that I have like zero experience with. So passion fruit is a tropical, kind of a tart fruit. And mochi is a Japanese dessert, like a rice dessert. It's kind of gelatinous. I think it's actually a, one of the, the rice that they use does have gluten in it because it needs to be quite gummy in order to make the dessert. Yeah, they like basically mix rice with like gummy paste or something like that, or they mix yeah. this gummy paste with the rice or something, and then they pound it out into like this. They turn it into a paste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it all becomes a paste. And then from there, you eat it. And it's delicious, I like them. Some people are kind of off. Yeah. yeah, it's, I don't know, it's a little weird. Like, it, you know, it's, I've had it like twice maybe ever. Mm -hmm. And one of which was at the grocery store. It tastes good, but the, the texture, the consistency yeah. is, is what makes me weirded out by it. Passion Fruit Mochi is a mochi inspired IPA fermented with toasted rice, milk sugar, vanilla, and passion fruit. 7% Great Notion Brew Co. What is that, a beaver? I think it's a cute beaver. <laughs> with a, uh, a sickle made of wood or something like that. I'm not even sure what's going on there. Great Notion's can art is always cool though. It's yeah. got, it's always got this like, this like very Bob Rossy type of thing happening, but it's like cartoony. You kind of got to stare at it for a minute to understand yeah. the whole text, the, the whole context of the picture or whatever. It's like a piece of art. Every time you look at it, you find something different. It really is. You find little things that you didn't notice the first time around. So, so they're out of where? They're out of Portland, Oregon. Okay, yeah. This is a super hype brewery, at least where we live. I mean, probably in, in Oregon, people drink this every day and they're like, whatever, great notion. We want like, you know, we want Aslan or we want Crooked Run or something that we just take for granted here. But over there, this is, you know, or over here, this is like a, a super thing. Let's smell this one. What's the aroma? Immediately like strong passion, passion fruit. fruit. That is just like just in your face. It smells like I'm about to eat. Passion fruit. Yeah, it smells like, like passion like... fruit, but then there's this like kind of hoppiness to it. This this sort of piney, uh, I don't even want to say citrusy character because it's it's not, the passion fruit sort of overtakes everything else. Um, but definitely a little bit of pininess, maybe a little earthiness to it. Yes, I'm getting, I'm getting that pininess as a second note. Yes, yeah, secondary for sure. Looks very hazy. Got this sort of like dense, uh, dense sort of, pale, orangey, orange juice type look, actually. So I think this is considered a milkshake IPA, which just means that it's brewed with lactose and that differentiates it from a regular New England style IPA. So what's the difference between a smoothie IPA and a milkshake IPA? So both styles of IPAs uh, require a lot of fruit and they generally do have lactose in them and they have an adjunct to them such as vanilla. But with the smoothie style, you don't necessarily need to have lactose in it in order for it to be considered, considered a, a smoothie style okay. IPA versus a milkshake, you have to have the lactose in it. Right on, okay, well, I'm willing to give this one a shot and we'll see what's going on. Cheers. Cheers. Immediate impressions, a little bit tart. Passion fruit blast mm -hmm. and then tart, okay. <laughs> That's really, really good. <laughs> what I'm getting is passion fruit immediately, a lot of it, and then quickly followed by a very tart kind of aftertaste. But then there's this vanilla that sort of binds it together, right? And yeah. then I get this hoppiness kind of in the throat. Yeah. Li just a little bit. It's not a lot. Yeah. It's so smooth that there, there's hardly any hoppiness. It's there, but just to kind of bind everything together, I feel like. Really oaty tasting, like it's just thick and like, just Maybe that's the, the toasted rice we're getting. Maybe. It's 
It's quite delicious. I just love this vanilla, slightly sweet. It really, it's like they really wanted to nail all the flavors you would get in a milkshake. Yeah. So that creaminess is there, the, the slight sweetness, the the passion fruit kind of gives it a nice balance. Zing. And yeah. zing, yeah. A I like that the tartness is, it keeps me coming back and making me want to drink more actually. It's just enough tartness to kind of like keep you thirsty, but mm -hmm. not enough to overwhelm what's happening in here. They, they do oh. different very different variations with the fruit as far as the mochi or the mochi beers go. So I think they just released like a strawberry one. Ooh. If we got orange if it's Oh, an orange one would be really yeah. good too. Oh yeah, pretty much any fruit I think would work really well with this. We definitely have to seek out more of these mochi inspired beers. For sure. Like 100%. Because I've never, you know, I, I, we've had milkshake IPAs in the past, but they've never been as well done as this one, I think. Yeah. This is just a really good example, uh, a particularly good example. Now, I'm not sure really, I'm not getting any of the, the mochi inspired, like dessert attributes to this. Mm. Uh, maybe they just, the toasted rice is what gives it that, you know. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't taste like a mochi would. But I think half of the mochi itself is actually the texture and like the consistency in your mouth of yeah. it. So when you drink it, just just tasting like a mochi, like the passion fruit really does take over in this one. But but I think the the, the texture and all that when you eat a mochi is what you associate with a mochi instead of drinking it like a liquid form, you know? Yeah. So cool. Yeah, we have a couple more Great Notion beers in the fridge, and I think we should probably dive into those as well. We have the peanut butter, what was it? The peanut nutter fluffer? Or we have like a peanut called? brother. Peanut brother, which is a peanut butter stout. And we have jammy pants. What the hell is jammy pants? It's a, it's a tart ale. Ooh, another tart. I wonder if it's more tart than this one. And I think we have a, a superstar IPA. We should do that too. We'll do all of them, whatever. All right, guys, well, thanks for tuning in. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay notified when new videos come out. As always, stay crafty. Cheers.